This is Kevin McMurray with TrackingSharks.com. Today we're covering a fatal shark attack that occurred in Hawaii. A 60-year-old Washington State woman was snorkeling with her husband off Kawakapu Beach December 8th. They entered the water just before noon and were about 50 yards from shore when an aggressive shark showed up. The couple were not that close in the water, and the husband told the Department of Natural Resources that he could only see his wife every now and again. He said that as the shark circled him, he continued looking for his wife. He said that he was popping his head above the water, scanning the surface when he spotted the shark coming back, and could see something red around the shark's gills. People on the beach were yelling at him to exit the water as a shark was actively feeding on something. Eyewitnesses confirmed that they were yelling to the husband as a man spotted the, quote, shark's large mouth continuing to feed on something in the middle of the red cloud in the water, end quote. The witness said he continued to encourage the man to exit the water as he could no longer see the woman. Air and sea search units were dispatched and spotted a large suspected tiger shark still in the area. They also recovered snorkel gear and part of a bathing suit, though they have yet to confirm it was the missing woman's. The search was called off around 2 p.m. local time, and the shark attack protocols were left in effect, including warning signs. Several people suspected that it was possible the man killed his wife and blamed a shark attack. However, the Department of Land and Natural Resources concluded otherwise. Quote, this was a tragic accident. It's unfortunate that the family's grief is exacerbated not only by not having their loved one's body recovered, but by misinformation spread quickly on social media platforms, suggesting that this was something other than what it was. Social media can either be a powerful tool for sharing information or a mouthpiece for for tremendously hurtful and inaccurate comments directed toward people who are dealing with a tragedy. The department has noted this kind of behavior over and over online and is encouraging social media users to resist the urge to make comments before all the facts are known. Family members and friends often see these posts. Imagine if it was someone you knew and loved and how you'd feel. End quote. Five days after the fatal shark attack, another man was forced to fight off a 12-foot tiger shark. An unidentified 68-year-old was swimming off Anahulu Bay in Wakola on the Big Island. According to police, the man was about 400 yards offshore when an estimated 12-foot tiger grabbed his lower torso. The man used his diving knife to smack the shark, which released him. Paddleboarders came to his rescue and took him back to the beach. A witness reported that the man had a good chunk of flesh missing from around his buttocks area. He was taken to the hospital before being transported to Oahu for further treatment. The majority of information I have seen states the man was swimming. However, my guess is he may have been snorkeling or possibly spearfishing, which would explain why he was carrying a knife. Hawaii has a large population of sea turtles, and occasionally you will run across one tangled in fishing line. A quick flip of the knife and the sea turtle can keep on turtling. Turtles are also a nice meal for tiger sharks. Female tigers will often come in close to shore to birth their pups in the fall months. The hungry mothers could be looking to fill their bellies after birthing some sharklings. Several other shark attack bites have been reported in Hawaii this year. A surfer was bitten on the toe October 18th in Oahu. A scuba diver who may have been on a shark dive was bitten by a 7-8 to foot blacktip shark off Kihola Point. On September 3rd, a French tourist was nearly killed when a large shark grabbed her shoulder in Maui. The unidentified woman was snorkeling but was able to make it back to the beach where locals assisted her. Unfortunately, she lost her left arm below the elbow along with her middle and index finger of the right hand as she tried to fight off the shark. And at the beginning of the year, a rare cookie cutter shark struck. An unidentified person was floating a mile off Kalua, Kona, February 9th when the small shark grabbed their foot and ankle. The incident took place at 3.30 a.m., so it could have been someone preparing for a channel swim or someone trying to catch squid. Sometimes it's hard not to be concerned about sharks when you think about entering the ocean, but keep in mind 450,000 to 570,000 people arrive on the islands each year and only a handful see a shark, and even fewer are killed. The last person killed during a shark attack in Hawaii was a surfer on Maui. Robin Warren was hit December 8th while paddling out just before 8 a.m. 
Ocean safety personnel assisted him out of the water, and he was transported to the hospital in critical condition, but later died. At the time, the water visibility was poor, and the location is near a river mouth where turtles were spotted the previous day. Based on bite marks of the board, a 14-foot tiger shark was responsible. I would love to still go to Wyatt. How about you? Let me know what you think about the islands in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. You can give us a super thanks or join our Patreon at patreon.com slash tracking sharks. Follow us on social media at tracking sharks and check out the website at tracking sharks.com. Be sure to comment what type of videos you would like to see. Thanks for watching and get wet soon.